Hi, this is Mr. Leo, and in this tutorial, we're going to continue to take a look at Google Classroom. In the previous tutorial, you saw how to log into the Chrome browser. You can see I'm logged in as my, chi as my child. And from there, you're going to access Google Classroom. I bookmarked it, so I'm going to click on the bookmark, and it will open up directly to Google Classroom. Typically, if students were in school, the teachers would share a code for the students to join. And when you click the plus sign, you can join a class with that code. However, because we are not in school, we're going to invite the students behind the scenes, and the students can simply click join the class. You can see in this case, Mr. Leo's class, Nicholas has been invited to join. He can simply click the join button. Now that he's here, let's just orient folks to what is on this page. There's actually three pages. The stream page, think of this as Facebook for school. Any message, messages the teacher posts will stack chronologically, and the students can scroll up and down to access the teacher's messages and work. There's a classwork page where assignments will be posted. Please note that the class, when the teacher posts to classwork, it also appears on the classroom stream. So you'll notice the clipboard represents an assignment, the question mark represents a question, and the bookmarked item represents class material. If it's not classwork, it's simply a message, you won't notice an icon, and the students, in some cases, can comment below. Each teacher has set their class up differently. In this class, the teacher can post to the classroom stream, and the students can comment below. Once they're done typing, they can send it off to, for the whole class to see. The classwork page is where the teacher assigns work and posts class materials. Some teachers will be sharing topics with their students, and topics are just a way to organize everything. You can see in this class, there's a topic for social studies, there's a topic for learning websites, and there's a topic for writing. If you click on one of those topics, for example, learning websites, the teacher has shared a bunch of material with the students so that they can access some of the things they typically use um, frequently. You can also sort by any one of these topics or look at all topics at once. The people page is where you'll see the teacher in the class. I did not enroll any other students in the class, but if I did, you would see a class list of all the teachers. Please note at the elementary level, email is not activated for our students, so they will not have access. Uh, parents, however, can certainly email their, their uh, child's teacher through their own personal email accounts. Thanks for listening. When we come back, we'll look at how to do some of these assignments, but hopefully by now you're oriented with the stream page, the classwork page, and the people page. If Nicholas wanted to leave a message back to his teacher for the whole class to see, he could say something like this and send it off. Comments will typically appear below, and as more children enter their comments, you'll see those stack up down below. But again, please note, not every teacher has enabled this functionality. Thanks for listening, and when we come back, we'll look at classwork.